Hey guys, how's it going? It's Richard Plunkett here from the Puppet of Geek, and today, guys, we're taking a look at the Alloy FPS Pro Gaming Keyboard by HyperX. This is, I guess, the um, the keyless keyboard of the Elite keyboard that we reviewed not that long ago. Um, this is the keyboard right here, and it's um, you know it's a pretty decent keyboard. It's exactly the same design of the Alloy keyboard. So if you looked at reviews of that or have that. This is pretty much it, just 10 keyless. Um, and it's, you know, it's pretty decent, has a really nice build to it, very similar build, I would say. Uh, weight, this feels obviously a bit heavier since it's a slightly a bit larger, but this also has a USB on the rear, which allows you to, you know, charge your mobile device, whereas this is just a single power for the keyboard itself. It would have been nice to have, um, but what they've done is literally just cut this in in half, or not really half, just got rid of the keys and that's about it. It's nearly identical. I don't see why they, I really wish they did actually put that USB port in there. It would actually make this keyboard slightly a bit better. Now the Pro Keyboard essentially is for, uh, I guess, you know, CSGO players or you know gamers who like to play on that, you know, slight angle like so, uh, which is great. It's, I mean, it's really great to have a compact keyboard. I'm a big fan of 10 keyless keyboards or just compact keyboards like this at this size. Uh, larger keyboards, you know, they're great, they work well. I'm just not a huge fan of it because for about four years, my primary keyboard has been the Cooler Master Quickfire keyboard with the Cherry MX Brown keys and it's been amazing. Um, you know, the, the, the funny thing about that keyboard is uh, it has everything that you need. It's not essentially, it's a great gaming keyboard. It doesn't have the, the G re rollover switch, um, whereas this does. But the thing is they've incorporated everything within the F keys. You've got media players, you've got um, your brightness controls and everything in there, which is really great. But here you have to actually hold function down to adjust those, you know, use the media controls or adjust the brightness. Now it's not a huge thing, a lot of other keyboards do that. But the one great thing that I found what Cooler Master did was, you know, you can hold the F key down and that will unlock it and lock it. So that would sort of enable the, you know, F switches or disable them so you can actually use it as the media switches. That was great. Like, I don't see why, you know, you couldn't incorporate that into this keyboard because it's switching over from, uh, get it, switching over, uh, okay. Uh, from, um, you know, the Cool Master to this for about a week. Um, it was hard to sort of, when I used to make adjustments or, you know, use the volume control, simple as that, I would be hitting the F keys and I will like, you know, be uh, full screening my windows or something like that. I'm like, oh, okay, hold function. You know, it's just a, a simple thing. And I don't know how complicated to do, but it looks very simple on our end. So I don't know how complicated it is to actually do it in the functionality of the actual keyboard, but it will be something great if they can actually incorporate that into the HyperX Elite Pro, or Elite Pro, sorry, the Pro keyboard, or other further keyboards that come out down the track. So this keyboard itself is the Cherry MX Red, and it's pretty great. It's very similar to the brown, I would say, uh, but it feels a bit different at the same time. Um, you know, reds are really great. I think a lot more keyboards now are, you know, using Cherry MX Red. Um, the one that I have here, the Elite, is actually blue, so a bit more clicky, um, which you can hear right now. Uh, for our test. So the Cooler Master is using the Cherry MX Brown, our Elite is using the Blues, and our Pro here is using the red, which is really nice, really nice and soft keys to touch if you don't like clicky keys, um, especially if you're a gamer. I think, you know, the reds are a really great way to go. Uh, it's quite universal. A lot of keyboards these days use red, uh, but brown, man, oof, you know, so good. After using it for about four years, uh, it's really hard to switch over. The Alloy FPS Pro doesn't really stand out from everyone else on the market. I mean, it's you know, a 10 keyless keyboard and that's about it. You know, it doesn't have RGB, it's just a standard red. Um, 
and you know you've got some different lighting settings here which are pretty cool a lot of you know keyboards are doing that as well um, you know something a bit flashy to show off your friends while gaming and you know they're great you know I love using the WASD uh, lighting preset in there but well, it's really cool to have those other presets as well that when you hit a key it sort of like burst uh, that's pretty cool um, but also nothing it's a bit you know it's nothing really that adds to the functionality of the keyboard which the you know the FPS Pro doesn't do it's I, it's sort of underwhelming now the one thing I do really like about this keyboard is its size the size of it is really compact like I said I'm a big fan of 10 keyless um, but you know is that something to consider when you're buying a gaming keyboard you know the price difference between these two things you know are very similar in Australia so if you had I think you know sometimes you can even find it a bit cheaper than the FPS Pro I found really surprising and I actually found this through another YouTuber on YouTube while looking uh, at video reviews is and it's something if you're not used to mechanical keyboards or you know just in general keyboards <laughs> um, and it's a it's a very common I think just you know uh, the way they produce them is the keys the keys are actually different I know right they just at a slight glance you won't really tell but the Elite actually has sort of a coating on it and it seems like it was done, um, you know, I guess after the production of the keys where they've sort of, it looks like it's been sprayed on and it's a very slight, it's not gr super grippy, but it adds a different, it adds a slight texture to it. Whereas our Pro right here is just your standard keys, you know, it's very, I think all my other keyboards have this, you, you're not, you're not losing out or anything if you get this. Um, but it's something to consider as well is, you know, when you go somewhere, try to go to, you know, a place that actually has the keyboards on display so you can actually feel them, feel the difference because that can make a hell of a lot difference, especially when gaming. And when actually, when I did notice it, it actually did stand out to me. So it's really interesting that they went with that different path. If it is it cheaper? It seems like when these come straight out of the uh, manufacturer, they just come like this, you know, they're just like black caps. I don't know if they get painted. Whereas this, you can actually see the painting coating even under the actual keycaps. Um, so that was something really interesting. So overall, the Alloy FPS Pro is a great keyboard for a 10 keyless keyboard. It's very simple, very basic. Uh, and as a essential keyboard, I would say, you know, just does everything, it, you know, it does what it's supposed to do and that's all it does, it doesn't do anything else. Um, whereas, you know, I think you can find a lot of other keyboards out, out there for that, around that same price bracket, which can offer a bit more, you know, some with software, some with added accessories stuff. Um, I just feel like, you know, for the price point, it's, it's not worth it. Um, but you know, if it's something that you're looking for in, in terms of sizing for a keyboard like this, and you're not a big fan of the Elite in terms of, you know, having a quite big keyboard, um, you know, the FPS Pro is, you know, for you, you know, it could be for you, uh, it could be for anyone looking for something compact and easy to travel with. Hey anyway, guys, my name's been Richard Plunkett from the Puppet Geek. This has been the Alloy FPS Pro Gaming Keyboard by HyperX. If you have any questions about the keyboard or anything else, leave a comment down below. I'll, you know, respond to it as fast as I can. Like this video as well if you did like this video and dislike it if you didn't. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. See ya.